Good afternoon, everybody. It's Marcia from Candace Misfit. And I just wanted to try to get a video done today. Been trying to figure out how to make a routine of getting my videos back in now that my life's changed so much. <laughs> I know it's not funny, but hey, it's changed ever since uh, the 30th of November. I mean, the 30th of December when my husband asked me to do a video for him he goes you want to make a video i got this uh tree tree leaves that needs cleaned out of the gutters you can make a video and i go well that's great would you want me to do it on your channel or my channel because i can do either one and you haven't had any in a while so i decided to do it on his channel and i had his phone mine, mine in my pocket and was doing the video then when all this happened, we spent the hospital on New Year's Eve in, in the hospital. Didn't even realize it was New Year's Eve. We're too busy, uh, worried about taking care of him, making sure I learn what needs to be done so I can take care of him when he comes home because there's nobody else that can do it. You know, we, we live together. Uh, no, no one's going to be able to do it. Everybody else has their own lives to live. And since he's my husband and I, we live together, I take care of him. He takes care of me, whatever we need to do to make things work. And so I was learning every time the nurses come in, what needs to be done, how to take care of him and everything. Of course, I, I was a CNA for 10 years. And uh, so I, I have that experience already. But I haven't did it forever because I hurt my back falling down backwards, falling backwards after cleaning the shower in the shower room and messed up my back, messed up my shoulder, you know, all kinds of things, lifting people uh, when I should have had someone helping me, which no one wanted to help me. So I did a lot of, a lot of it by myself, which made it hard. Now I'm paying for it. And my, and my neck's been messed up since I was 12 when I jumped out of, off the top of the roof. I jumped down because I wanted to be the first one down. I, we weren't supposed to be in the swimming pool area, and that's where we w had someone threw a tennis ball in. And I wanted to get it out so we wouldn't get in trouble for being in there. And several of us went over the fence and everything to, to get it, and then uh, I wanted to get out. So I just jumped. Don't know how I met. Everybody else got out, but all I remember is my knees hit my chin and my neck popped and and down I went and don't know after that. Mom said I, it just knocked me out. Scared her pretty bad. And I was having a, a carnival for Jerry Lewis's kids, trying to raise money for the, for the telethon so I can be noticed for helping somebody. I was 12 years old. And that's been a problem with my neck ever since then. And I, my, your neck has a natural curve in it. And mine's completely straight. When I went to the chiropractor, he said that, that there's no curve in there. Like, what happened? So I told him and he said, okay. <laughs> well, there's nothing. It's already grew still straight or whatever. So it's, it take forever to get it done. And I, don't have that kind of money so you live with your pain but just think when Christ come to take us home we'll be made brand new no more pain everything will be perfect no more back problems no more leg problems no more neck problems no more teeth problems brand new even our eyes will be perfect and that's a good day to think about but anyway, I'm just wanting to share with you because uh, my husband, I've been, he can't eat, laying, he tried eating laying down and it's like, gives him too much heartburn. He always have troubles. So it's like, what are we going to do? So then he can't sit very long and we just pop like, I think three pillows on the couch and one for his back to lean up on. And uh, he would sit down. I put a kitty litter, kitty litter container beside him to help hold him up so he can lay his elbow down and re relax on it and he'd sit there and eat his meal and 
and get up when he needed to get up because he can't sit very long because this breastplate on his back brace that hooks everything makes him straight i mean he can't he can't you know and the doctor says no bending no twisting and no lifting anything heavier than a gallon of milk so he just gets up and walks and and walks and walks all over the house as, as much as he can and he's learning how to do things better and hopefully we'll get that brace off soon i've been putting my oils on his back and but making that i mean his you can't see the staple holes from where the staples were in his back no more so that's that's all healed up on there so that's remarkable there's no more dead skin on there it's all smooth and I'm just, I'm amazed at, what is it, two weeks, three weeks? And, and the oils are doing so much in just three weeks. We've got two more weeks. I think we go into the doctor February. I'm getting mixed up with my dentist appointment. I have a dentist appointment in February also. I think it, I'm not for sure. I, I have it, but in February he goes back to the doctor, and hopefully he don't need his back brace after that. I'm hoping. That would be so much easier for me and for him, because sometimes it just takes two or three tries to get it to go on right, and we get on each other's nerves. I have to leave the room, readjust all the straps, pull them all loose, wrap them over and hook them down with Velcro, and then try to stick it back under him and do it all over again, and the stress is real. <laughs> not only for me. I mean, I know it's hard for me. But look, I'm not the one laying in the bed having to rely on that, you know. I have to think of him. He need, he ha he's he's in at my mercy. From from getting up, getting a bath, cleaning him up after he goes to the bathroom. I mean, I never thought I'd have to do that to my husband. <laughs> but hey, you just do it because it needs to be done. And I, I love him, so I do whatever I got to do. But what I want to tell you is he, he made it to being able to sit at the kitchen table now. He don't have to sit on the couch to eat. So now when I cook, I, I put his plate on the table and whatever it needs to be done, I fix it up for him. And he sits down beside me at the table. We're back to eating at the table again. Isn't that awesome? I mean, I thought we're, we're, we, we've been sitting on the couch together because he, he can't sit low. Now he can sit on a chair, kitchen chair. As long as the chair don't break, we'll be all right. Because I had a chair, one of our chairs break when I was sitting on it. And down on the floor I went, thump, that fast. The, straight down. And I didn't want no one helping me getting up because I needed to go at my pace. Because I don't know no one pulling on me and hurting me. But I don't want that ever to happen to him. So our life is changing a lot. 2023 is brand new. Brand new year and lots of new things happening for my husband and for me. He's got to learn everything all over again. He's He learned how to walk now. Now he's going to have to learn later how to walk without the brace. And he's wanting to have the brace off by his birthday. Next month on the 28th is his birthday. So if you want to send birthday cards and wish him a happy birthday... Uh, send me a message and I uh, and I will give you my my address so you'll be able to send him cards. So if you want, I think he'll like that. So email me. I'll leave my email in the in the description below, and I'll give you the address if you ask for it. Send him a birthday card or get well card, whatever. We, 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 he will like that. I'm sure. Anyway. I'm just thankful he's able to sit at the table with me. And he finally, after what is this, eight years, nine years, finally appreciates the things I do for him. Never, ever, has he ever said, thank you for dinner, or thank you for this, thank you for that. Now he says, thank you for taking care of me. Thank you, you know, for wiping my butt. Thank you for massaging my feet. Whatever. He's so appreciative of me now. So, I thank God for that. I thank God for changing our lives, slowing him down, slowing me down, putting more focus on each other, building our relationship. 
So thank you, Jesus. I hope this touched somebody. If you like my my videos, please smash the like button. Leave me a comment, a suggestion, concern, whatever you might have. Something you might want to think that might help, you know. It's getting closer to time to start my garden, too, so hope he heals soon. So we have a lot of work to do out there. That's another, another video. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. Ta-ta.